This book by Jonathan Sarfati fuck off, is called off, The Greatest off, Hoax off, on Earth, off, Refuting off, Dawkins off, fuck off, fuck on off, Evolution. Fuck off. Uh, many of you have read Dawkins, a lot of you have heard about him. Uh, there seems to be a kind of a trend right now in the world of uh, kind of a neo-atheism that um, is becoming quite popular and a number of people who are getting on the bandwagon. It's very seldom that you hear anyone uh, purport to present in a credible way at least the other side of the question and or um, refute Dawkins. Well, this is the point of the book. And am I pronouncing your name properly? Is it Safarti? Sarfati. Sarfati, Sarfati. Yeah. In Hebrew, Sarfat is France. Right, so Sarfati means native of France. And Sarfati in Israel, if someone is a Sarfati, it means they're from France. Mm. Uh, you're, but you're from New Zealand. I'm from Australia and New Zealand, and my father was born in France, though. Well, there you go. Mm. There you go. Any Jewish uh, blood there? That's right. I've got, uh, my, great, my great uncle was the first New Zealander to settle in the Holy Land, so all his descendants are still there. So I've got lots of relatives in Israel. Yeah, so in Israel, you'd, you'd be Yonatan Safarti. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. You are a chess master. You were New Zealand's uh, chess champion. I've heard that you can play 14 people at a time, blindfolded. I've played up to 12 so far. 12 people. Mm -hmm. how, 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 do you, how do you do that? Yeah, well, okay, uh, every uh, spear on the chessboard has a letter and a number, so there's an un unambiguous way of communicating moves um, orally. So that's what happens between us. But is it not difficult to play chess when you can't see what you're doing? Well, you have to remember where the pieces are, yes, great. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was going to bring a chessboard here and play while we interviewed, but I thought, why don't I make myself look like an idiot? <laughs> anyway, I've never been a chess master before. This is really wow. something. You're also a PhD. You, uh, you have um, a great background in science, and you write like a scientist. I, I'm very impressed. I haven't finished the book yet. Uh, it's a book that uh, requires a lot of time. And, and, and you also have to read Dawkins, I think, to appreciate a lot of what you're saying here, right? Well, I don't off. believe you need to because I quote Dawkins extensively, so all the relevant parts uh, are already quoted, so I wouldn't want to give him royalties. You can fuck off. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, there's three things that I'd like to talk to you about. Uh, I'd like to talk to you about um, uh, species and kinds. I'd like mm -hmm. to talk about bait and switch. And I'd like to talk about natural selection. Sure. Natural selection sort of being the, uh, the cornerstone of the evolutionary theory. But let's start, first of all, with bait and switch. What do you mean uh, when you start out by talking about Dawkins' predisposition to baiting and then switching? Off. Well, it mean, it's also called equivocation. What you're doing is defining words in different ways, but changing the, the, the definition that's midway through the argument. I mean, if I say, uh, my car is a lemon, a lemon is a citrus fruit, therefore my car is a citrus fruit, that's baiting and switching. The word lemon has changed meanings. And this is what Dawkins does with evolution. He defines it as change in gene frequency over time, basically any sort of change. But if that's all evolution was, um, I'd be an evolutionist as well. No one denies that things change. Um, the real difference is uh, that the general theory of evolution says that all living things come from a single cell and that cell came from some sort of primordial soup. That is the theory under dispute, but he uses evidence for change and says, well, goodness, these creationists can't even see change but change going on. They, they must be wicked or, or, or stupid or ignorant. But of course, um, that's because he's baiting and switching with the definition of evolution, and many evolutionists do that. fuck off. Now, uh, there's also, um, uh, it seems to me at least, with uh, a lot of these people, um, the fundamentalist is in the middle of this as fair game. If, if, you, if you don't believe in evolution, you are a fundamentalist, which means that you're a marginalized, uh, kiss your brains goodbye, weirdo. Mm -hmm. uh, th this just simply is not the case out there, as I understand it. There's a number of people like you, very well educated, uh, scientists, mm -hmm. who are uh, committed to what's called intelligent design. You can fuck off.